So here we have two independent circuits um, that I was using for some of my time of flight experiments uh, early on in the laser rangefinder project. Um, I'm not going down that route, but I think these two circuits uh, could possibly have some good uses. So this first one is a high-speed uh, programmable pulse generator and you have a bunch of dip switches which could obviously be replaced um, with firmware or microprocessor uh, and allowing you to generate pulses anywhere from 14 nanoseconds up to about 1.3 microseconds um, so uh, very very high speed pulses um, and then this circuit here is a uh, pulse detector so there's a, a time to digital converter and then an SX that's uh, communicating with that and doing all of the processing to output um, the actual pulse width measured from this device. Um, so to give you an example, right now uh, on the oscilloscope screen when I reset the system I'm generating a, generating a pulse of about 52 nanoseconds. I can change that. Let's see, I'll bring it up to uh, uh, 294 then if I go over to the debug screen that's connected up to the SX circuitry we have uh, the measurement some debug information and then the pulse width of 294 so I can change that now I'll just change the dip switches back to something else and uh, rerun it now we're at 173 microsecond, uh, nanoseconds I go back to the scope 172 so plus or minus a nanosecond um, so that's it. I don't know. They're they're sort of neat. They might have some uses that you guys can think of, um, but I wanted to at least show them to you because uh, maybe we can do something with them. Okay. Goodbye.